In this example, I'm going to demonstrate the simplicity of computing a weight and balance for a Falcon 900EX. Although there are many different aircraft makes and models, the procedure for using iFly weight and balance is pretty much the same. When you first open the application, the starting weight and CG of the aircraft is already pre-programmed. This particular aircraft uses a corrected empty weight, which essentially is the basic empty weight plus all the operational items, uh, galley items, charts, manuals, provisions, anything like that. The pilot in command and second in command in this particular aircraft are pre-entered when the application opens. Now that's selectable and changeable in the preferences section of the application. You can see more of that at our video tutorials on how to change that. This particular application has three main sections. There's the loading section, and that's where we add the passengers, baggage, takeoff and landing fuel. We have an interior diagram that's self-explanatory. It shows the direction and position of each seat, has a label associated with that seat that references the loading field for each occupant, and baggage and fuel. Then we have the graph. The graph shows the weight and center of gravity envelope as you've seen in traditional graphs in your aircraft flight manuals and pilot operating handbooks. Now when we add passengers, baggage, and fuel, that's going to be plotted out on the graph. If there's any violation of any limitations, we're going to see that visually. So let's start loading one and see exactly how this is going to turn out. Again, the pilot in command and second in command for this application were open with 190, but let's say the pilot in command is a little heavier that day, is actually 210 pounds. Well, we can change that easily. Let's make it 210, and it updated it. Now, if you notice on the graph, we have a magenta dot. That's our corrected empty weight and CG. In this aircraft, it's in percent Mach, mean aerodynamic cord. The green line represents passengers and baggage, and right now that shows our weight and CG as the aircraft is loaded in this position. So let's continue loading uh, the rest of the passengers. Now, we can continue and just load weight of passengers individually, but for our example I'm just going to load a standard passenger weight and I can do that simply by clicking on the button next to each field. And I'm going to load passengers 1 through 8. We have jump seat, passenger 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's pretty quick and if you're just trying to figure out an idea of where your weight and balance stands for the trip that's going to be coming maybe in a few hours or in the next day and you don't know exactly the weight of each occupant, it's a nice quick way of entering fast values. And let's go ahead and, and load bags. Let's put 300 pounds in the forward baggage compartment. And let's go ahead and uh, add fuel. Let's put uh, 20,000 pounds of takeoff fuel. Now when we did that, right away uh, we see on the graph that there's this big red line. Well. That curvy red line, that's our fuel line. That shows the weight and CG of the fuel as it's loaded and burned in the aircraft. And then there's that straight forward CG limit line, and they're both red. Well, they're red because there's some violation. The fuel is going outside of one of the limitations, in this case the forward CG limit, and clearly the takeoff center of gravity is forward of the forward CG limit. So we have to do something to change that. Well, we don't want to reduce our fuel. We need 20,000 pounds of fuel for this flight so we can meet our reserves. Well, why don't we shift a little weight? We can do that with passengers, or we can do that with baggage, or both. Sometimes it takes a little bit of experimenting. So let's go ahead and take uh, 100 pounds out of the forward baggage, and let's add 100 pounds into the aft baggage. And that actually did it. And you can see every time we made a change, the weight in CG was plotted on the graph. It was computed automatically. And now our fuel, which is the blue line, uh, is within the CG limits. It's not red. And none of the limitations on the graph are red. Let's put 3,000 pounds for landing fuel. And that red dot now is our landing weight and landing CG. You can see more video tutorials in the support section of our website at www.flyincg.com.